Hello guys and welcome to an LJ Games tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be working with the simple people from Cinti Studios and showing you how you can control them with the keyboard or the gamepad or whatever. The um, reason I'm going to show you how to do this is because I tried to do this myself and I could not find any tutorials on how to do it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it because to be honest with you I'm a beginner with Unity but it's a way I've found that works um, so I'll just show a demonstration of what this does so here we've got a businessman character and press up moves north left moves west right moves east down move south. It's actually very simple to get this behavior up and running as I'll show you. So uh, in our scene we've just got our camera, we've got a directional light and we've got our asset businessman from the simple people assets. So if we click on our businessman, looking in the inspector we can see it's got an animator component and this is what performs all the magic of making it walk around um, and then this is a script that I've written what takes the input and applies the correct animation to make it walk so the first thing we'll look at is the animation controller. So if we click on our simple character 5.0 controller what this character uses and go to the animator tab I've currently got the movement layer selected which is what we're going to be working with um, there's two states that we're going to be using and that's idle and walk. Now you'll notice there's walk static here as well um, the difference between walk static and walk is walk actually moves the character in world space whereas walk static just makes it walk on the spot. I'm going to be using the walk animation rather than walk static because we, it cuts out some work of uh, manually translating the character and also we want the speed to be right so it doesn't look like it's moonwalking. So um, <coughs> let's look at the um, transitions for moving between idle and walk and back again. So to get from idle to walk, there's a couple of conditions that have to be set. So first of all, this parameter static B has to be set to false. Uh, what this actually does, this parameter, is it switches between walk and walk static or run and run static so it basically selects whether you want static animations or not so we want that to be false and we want the speed parameter to have a value greater than 0.25 to actually start it walking to get back from walk to idle we need to set this speed to less than 0.25 so <laughs> basically that'll make it stop walking right so let's go back to our scene our businessman right so now we're going to look at this script that I've written so I've stored this in the scripts folder and I've called it simple people player and it's written in C sharp because that's the language I'm most familiar with so I'll talk you through it. So we'll just double click this. We'll start up Visual Studio. I mean, depending what version of Unity you guys have, it might start Mono Develop. Um, I've not really worked with Mono Develop before, but I'm sure it's a similar principle. Right, so here's a script that I've written. Um, 
like all scripts, uh, or most scripts as far as I'm aware, it this class inherits from mono behavior, which basically means it's a component that can be attached to game objects. Got a couple of member variables here. We've got animator, which um, stores um, our animator component just to save us from having to get it again and again and again on each frame. And then we've got an is moving boolean variable which keeps track of whether our character is currently moving or not. So in our start method um, which performs initialization of this component what we do is we get our animator member variable and set it and then we check that that animator isn't null because it could potentially be null if you attach it to a game object that doesn't have an animator so we first got to make sure that's not null and then we set this float variable set the speed variable to zero which means it will set the idle animation and then we set this static b parameter to false because we want it to use non-static animations and then the next method is our update method and it calls process movement input which is another method that will process all our inputs to the character to make him move around so again we check that the animator is not equal to null and we get the horizontal and vertical input axes which um, basically the values between minus one and one um, the first one the horizontal axis it'll be minus one if we press left or we you know we have left on the gamepad um, if we press the stick like left and then it will be plus one if we press the right key or if we move the directional stick right same thing with north and south it'll be plus one if we press up or if we move directional stick up it'll be minus one if we move it down or press the down key so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check that if we've got any input basically if uh, we take the absolute value of each axis and see whether either of them are above zero so basically have we pressed up down left or right if we have if the character is currently idle so if he's not moving around we transition to the walking state and then we just set his moving to true so that we don't repeatedly do this and then we set the float to 0.4 so next what we do is we check each direction so if our west east axis is below zero meaning we want to move our character west then we rotate him west and the animation will perform the actual movement of the character um, if our west east axis is above zero then we want them to walk east so we make them face east for north south axis is less than zero then we want them to face south so we walk south and if it's above zero we want them to walk north so we face him north otherwise if uh, there is no movement input and he's currently moving then we want him to stop moving so we set the is moving variable to false and we set this speed to zero so it transitions to the idle state okay so once again just to demonstrate it again you can press up move north press down we'll move south press left we'll move west press right and I'll move east now there are um, some restrictions to this 
it's basically uh, the way I've set this character up it's tank control so it's like um, it moves in 90 degree angles you can't make it move southwest or northeast or anything like that if I try pressing two keys at once it'll basically move um, the first direction that it's checking for so if you remember we checked west then east then north and south so if I pressed north and I press west at the same time it'll just move west because that's the first check it performs so anyway that's uh, that's how it all works uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, stay tuned for more to come Thank you.